What's up, divas? What's up, Debo? So you already know it's Wednesday, so it's real talk today. Real talk, all right? So I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's Monday, actually. But you already know I record these before Wednesday, so that way it could be Real Talk Wednesday. It's really early. It's not really early because this is not really early to me. It's 9 o'clock. It is actually 9.20 in the morning. Um, actually, I'm waiting for um, Pancake's um, groomer to get here. I do the mobile groomer, Pogo, it's called. I think they have them in, like, certain states, but they're really good. I've been using them for months. And they come to your house, and they bring the dog outside, and they have this mobile van where they wash them and groom them and do all that good stuff. So I really like that versus what I used to do, which was go to PetSmart. You know, PetSmart, I had to wait, like, four hours to get my dog back. You drop them off, and then they call you when they're ready. I really wasn't like a huge fan of that because I'd be missing my dogs. So, but I did used to use PetSmart. They're pretty fairly cheap, PetSmart. I paid like, I always would have a coupon. So I'll end up paying like $56. Normally the price is like $65, $70. So this is the same thing, $65. And they come to your house. So much better, more comfortable, takes like 45 minutes. And then I get her back. Bang, bang, boom, bang. Just like that. So, yes, you guys, I hope you had a great weekend. I am just um, getting ready for the week. Got my little to-do list book ready to go. The hair that I'm wearing, yes, it's a headband wig. I know I said I wasn't going to review anymore. But there are certain companies that I would do just about any review for because I know their wigs are, like, bomb as hell. Even if, even if I have, like, ten of them, there are some companies that I definitely do like to do videos for because they just have really good hair so this is by my first wig and this one is actually really nice like i mean i have a curly one by them too and it's nice too but it's this feels a lot softer and i just like this one a lot better than the first curly one that i got from them like months and months and months ago this one i don't know but it's just doing something for me you know what i mean and they are sister company to rpg show so i also have one like in this same color by rpg show and i love it just as much too but um yes i love when you can make the hair much fuller you know i love big hair i love big hair but anyway you guys i will have this video up soon please make sure you watch it okay make sure you watch it other than that i haven't been really doing much of anything but just working and working you know i did post up a new vlog uh today monday which was for easter easter egg hunt with my grandkids four grandsons somebody better give me a granddaughter like i need one just just let me get one granddaughter and I'm good. But yeah, other than that, we're going to just jump right into this real talk in a minute. Um, I am going to promo something real quick, which is one of my favorite jewelry websites. You know, not real jewelry like, you know, 14 karat gold, 100% 14 karat gold. But great custom, costume jewelry that you can purchase and it doesn't tarnish. Like, girl, I've been wearing these earrings for like the past couple of years now. And I do get a lot of comments of where do I get them from? Where did I get these earrings from? So I have had these for like four years now and they have yet to turn. I have a pair in silver. I have a gold pair. I have so many necklaces by them. So I actually really do favor them. I have an issue. Me personally, I have an issue with costume jewelry. Like I love to buy like, you know, the big hoop earrings and stuff like that from like the beauty supply store. But they last me like two or three days because as soon as I put them on, the heat and my, the oils from my skin quickly turn them. So I always got to, I always have to um, spray like acrylic spray on them to make them last longer. With these from Happiness Boutique, girl, I've never sprayed anything on them and they last forever. So I do have these cute pair right here. Hope you guys can see them. And I also have this really nice necklace by them which I'm not really sure how I'm going to get on because I have my nails. But, yes, I'm going to promo this real quick. So give me, like, a minute of your time, and then we are going to get into the real talk. Okay. Hey, loves. Make sure you check out Happiness Boutique, where you can find so many amazing jewelry pieces to customize with your attire. The first pair of earrings that I'm showcasing here are their wide band hoop earrings. These are 18 karat gold plated, stainless steel, and super chic and complements all styles and outfits. Happiness Boutique has been one of my favorite websites for many years, and I'll definitely link them down below. 
If you love necklaces, you'll definitely love this thick snake chain necklace, which is also 18 karat gold plated and is stainless steel. These pieces can be worn while swimming and showering and won't tarnish. They have so many different items to choose from, statement jewelry, statement earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. And like I stated, they're one of my favorite websites to get jewelry from because they don't tarnish. I'll link them down below so you can check them out. And as always, stay happy. I got the earrings on. I hope you enjoyed that promo. I do have the earrings on. Um, I did, I was able to get the necklace some semi on, meaning like, no, nah, I wasn't able to clip it, but it's a little short for my neck. What I'll have to do, because you know I'm crafty and I used to make jewelry, I'll have to put an extension, extender chain at the end of it because I really don't like my necklaces to be like a choker almost. You know, it will come to like right here. It's very short, not very short, but you know, if you got a bigger net, it, it'll land right here. And that's a little bit too short for me. I feel kind of like claustrophobic at the neck, like I'm about to be choked. So I will definitely put a little extension on the end. I guess if you have a smaller neck, it will work out for you. You know how, cause some necklaces are supposed to just sit right here, which is great. But this one, a little bit too far up. I'm telling you they have some really nice jewelry, especially because it doesn't turn. And funny thing is, I know you guys probably seen two pair of these in the video. The other pair that I have is a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if they changed the size because I did receive two packages. One I was waiting for for months, it got lost in the mail. This was before the new year, it got lost in the mail. I kept waiting for it. So they sent me out a new package and the first package was coming to my home address that got lost in the mail. The second package I got right away at my post office box. And then two days later after picking up my second package, the lost one came. This is the pair that was the replacement set so I'm not really sure if they changed the sizes. And you already know, I got beauties on deck. So I got my nails done, and this time it's in the color gray. In the next two weeks when I go back, they will um, remove these because it says it's time to remove them because they've outgrown a lot. You can see my nails underneath. So that's the part that I really hate the most because it hurts. And I've had these nails on since very, very beginning of December. But anyway, you guys, if you got a real talk, you know what I'm saying, a real talk that you want us to talk about, then you can go ahead and send me an email to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Hopefully I'll remember to post it down below. I should just keep it as a default in my videos and that's what I'll do in my settings on YouTube. But you can go ahead and send me an email. Make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk. This email is strictly for Real Talk only. As you see, it says April's Real Talk. Not April's business, not April's adventures, not April's wigs, it's April's Real Talk. I have stuff set out for shit like that, okay? But keep in mind that if you don't change your name in the email, like say, hey, April, call me Susan or whatever, I'm going to change it because I really don't want anyone to know it's you that we're talking about. So let's just jump right into this. Talk really stood up. Hello divas and divos. Hello Miss Muffins. First I would like to say thank you in advance for reading my dilemma and I hope all whom are watching are having a blessed week. Thank you. I could use all the advice I can get and you can call me Allison please. I have never been so hurt and deceived in my life and I'm not sure where to start but I will do my best. I have been dating and then been engaged to this man for over five years. We were engaged two years ago, and ever since we made it official, we started to plan for the big event. He was on board, and you can call him Steve. Steve was on Steve was on board with everything, from the catered food, the seating, the groomsmen, music, flowers, cake tasting, everything. I had no issue asking him to accompany me to any wedding appointments. Like I said, he was on board. We were supposed to be married January 23rd of this year, but that did not happen. The night before, he and I both went out with our friends. He was with his boys and me and my girls hung out somewhere separate. We both agreed to do nothing that would stop us from making it to our wedding on time, which could be heavy drinking, clubs, out of state trips, etc. Well, me and my friends, we went to get full body massages at this amazing spa where they serve champagne and little sandwiches. Steve and his boys went bowling. 
as that was Steve's favorite pastime sport. The day of the wedding was here and I was excited. I had not spoken to Steve as I didn't want to ruin or jinx anything. I would see him when he put the ring on my finger. I was all dressed up and ready to walk when I overheard my bridesmaid and some of the groomsmen asking, where was Steve? At first, I didn't think much of it because maybe they meant like, where did he just go? Because he had to be there, right? This was our big day. I then started hearing conversations of who seen him last, um, where did you drop him off after bowling? So at this point, I was now aware they meant Steve was not at the event hall for the wedding. This is when I started asking questions to those who was with him the night prior. And I was told, he was having a great time, but he was also very occupied by these multiple phone calls that came through on his phone. He was dropped off home and that was the last Steve was seen. All of his friends went and drove over to his house during uh, before the wedding, but Steve was not there. Even his best friend of 10 years found it weird. His parents were overly worried and I was as well. We was now almost an hour before the wedding was to start when his mother and father approached me and instructed me they needed to talk in private with me as they received a call from Steve and Steve was in the hospital. When they said hospital, my heart started racing and all I could say was, is he all right? Oh my God, I have to see him. Oh my God, is he okay? His mother took me by the hand, sat me down and said, Steve is fine. He's in the hospital because his son was born this morning. Oh. Miss Muffin, what the hell? Son was born this morning. I was confused because son, we've been together for five years and some other woman is having his baby on our wedding day. Like what the fuck is going on? I looked at his mother and was in total shock and she was in just as much shock as I was. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I couldn't believe I was being stood up and cheated on and deceived and all of the above. I made his parents go and explain to all the guests why the wedding is being canceled. I have finally lifted my head up from this situation. I tried to avoid him as much as possible, but he doesn't give up by sending me flowers, cards, gifts to my home and office, sending me love letters via email. He's been trying to explain to me about everything, but I don't think I need one. Since we all know you was cheating on me since you having a baby on our wedding day, I really don't care to hear what he's got to say because all this time he's been a liar amongst other things. Miss Muffin, I'm trying to heal from all of this and seeing his his devilish face doesn't help me anymore. And she called him devilish face. I am way over him at this point and just want to be left alone. I was overall embarrassed by his actions and don't care to hear what he's got to say. Basically, go tell your family about it, Steve. Explain to them. Am I wrong for not wanting any communication with him? What would you do? Damn. First thing I'm gonna do is take a sip of this. I'm gonna just say this. That's, that's real fucked up. Like, seriously. That's so messed up. That's... That's messed up. Like, for real, for real, that's messed up. She been with this man. What is her name? Allison. Okay, so she been with this man for over five years. They've been engaged for two. They was planning for the wedding and pay for everything. Because obviously, you ain't going to have no wedding if it wasn't paid for. You know what I'm saying? Got the dress, got the food, got the cakes, got the event place, got the guests there, got everything. And then, dude, old dude didn't even show up. Like... He was somewhere else, like at the hospital in the midst of helping somebody deliver a baby that was never even, you know, spoke about. Like, it ain't his bride, soon to be bride's baby. It's some other side chick's baby. Or is she the side chick? Like, how long he been with her? First of all, that's devastation. That's some real betrayal right there. I don't even know. I, you know what? Seriously, Allison, I'm with you. I, 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 I wouldn't say anything to him either. Like, really, what do you have to explain? Like... <laughs> The proof is in the pudding. You cheated. You cannot say you didn't cheat because you was there helping old girl deliver y'all baby. So you can't say you didn't cheat. And if you did cheat, well, excuse me, you did cheat, but we don't know how long he was cheating for. But let's just say it was like a year because, you know, it takes nine months, 10 months to have a baby. 40 weeks is, you know, 10 months. But so say he was just cheating on him for a year. It still is deception. Like, so you're going to go behind somebody back that you've been with and been engaged to and have a whole baby with them? Was that the reason why he, you know, proposed? Because the baby wasn't around. The girl definitely wasn't pregnant 
because they've been engaged for two years. So the girl definitely wasn't pregnant when he engaged to her or proposed to her, excuse me. But I'm pretty sure he was doing something sneaky. Then again, I don't know. You know, some girls can be so loose where they could just meet a guy and get end up pregnant by him right away within the first couple of months. That happens. But either way, it's that was all deceitful. And for him to just carry along with everything, like, through the whole time this girl been pregnant and just go along with the wedding plans and everything like that, like, when was you going to tell her? Like, Steve, when was you going to tell Allison that you about to have a baby with somebody else that ain't her? It's one thing to cheat, but when you cheat and have a baby on somebody, that's, like, the worst. Like, there's a lot of worse scenarios of cheating, okay? I explained one last week on our walk when we did Real Talk. But th that one was just as bad. Husband and wife, he started smelling like cologne. She found out he was cheating on her with a man. That's bad, too. Soon to be husband and wife, getting ready to get married at the altar and this dude is at the hospital helping somebody push like you know holding her legs up in the stirrups and telling her to push and the thing about it is the way that it came about like his mother had to sit her down in a private room wherever they was i don't know if they was at church i don't know if they was at like an event place like you know because you don't really have to get married at church but the whole fact is that his mother had to tell her yeah he's in the hospital you know, that's the first thing she hear, and then she get, you know, scared. And now you're telling me, nah, he's good. He just helped, um, he, his son was born today, like. You know something, like, for one, I'm glad that Allison made his mother and father go out there and explain to the guests that your son is nothing but a trollop, tramp, grimy-ass nigga, and he's got a baby that was just born today, but it ain't by the bride, or soon to be bride, okay? Yeah, let his mother and them explain it, since he's the one that called them and told them first. But in my heart, I just feel like, um, she said his mother was shocked, just as shocked as she was. I don't believe that. I believe that his mother and father probably knew. Because why would he have called them? I mean, yeah, maybe they didn't know, and sometimes when you're an adult, it's like a lot easier to talk to your parents, but I just feel like they knew. I just really feel like they knew. You know what I mean? I, I honestly feel like they knew. And like, yeah, like she said, what else is there to really explain to me? Like, what you going, what are you going, what can you tell somebody that they don't already know? Like, how you going to explain that? Like, there's nothing to explain. You fell in some pussy and accidentally came and the girl got pregnant. Like, you was walking. I was walking down the street, Allison, and I accidentally had bumped into somebody. I actually bumped, bumped physically bumped into this young lady. I don't even know her. And when I bumped into her, my dick slipped out and slipped into her, her vagina. And then, you know, th that's how the baby came. What, what is this, some type of wizardry? Like, we already know there's nothing to explain. We already know that you cheated, obviously, because you got a baby. You can't even deny that. He didn't even have the decency to tell girl, side chick, listen, you was a side piece. I'll be there after the baby is born. Like, I'm not missing this day. I got to explain it to my wife. I don't know. How would you handle that? Like, me personally, there's really nothing to say. And the fact that he keeps bothering her, because I'm going to say now he's bothering her. He's sending her gifts, flowers, letters at her place of employment, at her home. It's one thing to send them at your home and annoy you. But, dude, don't send them to your place of employment because now you're embarrassing me and you're starting to really piss me off. And you might be jeopardizing my job. Some jobs don't like shit like that constantly. You know what I'm saying? Some jobs just don't like that. And there's really a gift of flowers. It's not... <sighs> if you was to send me some flowers after having a baby on me with someone else, dude, I might shove them flowers somewhere where the sun don't shine and not on myself but you, Okay you and i can't even say i blame the girl but if she knew about you i'm definitely going to blame her but who's to say I, this is the one thing that i won't do me personally if that were me in that situation i wouldn't even waste my time talking to that female because who's to say she knew and if she didn't know who's to say she really is telling the truth she might have knew some women love to be the side chick some women just don't care some women don't care if they ruin a family some women don't care if they messing up a happy home some women don't care if they messing up a relationship Somebody, some women don't care if it's another man's another woman's dick they don't care they just don't care. And that's that's pathetic because get your own man. Like, girl, get your own man. Like, I would never want to sleep with somebody else's man. Like, for real, like, for what? For what? Because at the end of the day, he going to go home to her. And the same shit he telling you, he going to tell her. So, like, why? Why? And on top of that, why would you want anybody else's dick? Like, 
That's like used, like repurposed, you know what I'm saying? Dick, like who wants repurposed dick? Repurpose, refurbished dick, you know what I'm saying? Like recycled dick, like nobody wants that. Nobody, screw by with that. DIY dick, nobody wants that. So I just feel like this, there's really nothing to explain. What he needs to do is leave you alone. Like, you know, part of me would like to understand what happened, but then there's another part of me that is like, if you were lying and being deceitful for all these nine, 10 months while this girl was pregnant, what makes you think that I really wanna hear anything else you have to say? What makes you think that I'm supposed to believe anything that you have to say? Like, let's be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? If a dude got a baby on you and you don't find out until the baby is born, that means he's been lying all those months. And like, what do you really wanna hear? Like, what is there really to explain? I'm a liar? We already know that. I'm deceitful. We know that too. I'm trifling. Man, we definitely know that. I'm sneaky. Yes, you are, okay? I'm trifling. We already know all of these things. So there's really no need for an explanation. But what I will tell you, Allison, is I'm glad that, like she said, she's lifted her head up from the situation. I'm glad that she has. And I'm pretty sure that that had to be a really, like, hard thing to get through. Could you imagine all dressed up, all that. Do you even get your money back for stuff like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I would like to know. Would you get, like, do you get any money back from that? Like, I know you're not gonna get money back for the food. I know you're not gonna get money back for, like, the cake. I'm pretty sure you can return the dress since you didn't put it on yet, or did you? I, I, I don't know, can you, can you get your money back for the wedding dress? You can definitely sell that online. So, I mean, that that might be okay, but like for the whole event, like where you rented the, the place to be, like the church or the, you know, the event place, can you get some of your money back? Because they're definitely not gonna give you all the money back. It's not their fault that your man is a hoe. So I'm wondering, do you get your money back from that? Either way, I know you're losing out on a whole lot of things. Time, effort, love, time, you know, everything, you, you're you lost, you're losing out. So could you imagine like you did all this event planning for this big day and you ready to walk down the aisle and you stood up like this is the biggest stand up like ever. Like for one, I was, I'm really disappointed in Steve. Like I don't even know him personally, but I'm still disappointed because if it were me and I was the dude and, and, and I did something like that, I think I would still try to make it to the wedding. I would, I would, I would definitely be at the wedding and I would go through with it and Maybe like a week or two later, I would have to say something. I wouldn't want to ruin it that bad for her. I don't, you know, I honestly, I don't know. If that's what I would do. Even though I'm wrong for still doing that, you have to try to right your wrongs in some type of way. And leaving um, Allison at the altar was kind of fucked up. Not even at the altar, but before it even began. Like, that would even be worse. Like, you ready to walk down the aisle and he's not even standing there. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't allow that to happen. But it's still being stood up. And I could get what she's saying, that she's embarrassed. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I would be really embarrassed. Only because, like, you're the one that's got a baby on you. I didn't do anything but just be truthful, you know, and honest. So I wonder, like, I really wonder how she really handled that day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did she handle that day? It reminds me of, in a certain kind of way, remember Sex in the City, you know? And she was, um, Sarah Jessica Parker was getting ready to get married to Mr. Big and stuff. And it didn't go down the way she wanted it to. It just didn't happen. Like, it kind of reminds me of that, but not that way. Like, any movie that you get stood up at the altar would remind me of the situation. I've never seen a movie, though, where you get stood at the altar, stood up at the altar because dude's in the hospital having a baby with somebody else. Like, that's a new one. This is like a Lifetime movie. Like, I don't know how I would react. I know I probably would definitely be hurt and devastated. I probably would want to go out and run his ass over. Or... Me, personally, I probably would have went my ass up to the hospital, not in my wedding dress, because you're not about to see me looking that cute, but I would go up there and make my presence be known, you know what I'm saying? It's time for a real embarrassment for you, for your baby mama, for your child, for the whole entire hospital. And I know the baby don't have nothing to do with it. I don't even really know if the baby mama got anything to do with it, but definitely for sure Steve ass is going to get embarrassed. Shit, girl, I might have my whole family, my whole posse round up, and we're going to play old rodeo and just be whipping that ass. But either way, sometimes some people is just really not worth your energy. I have to say this to myself all the time that... Some people are definitely just not worth your energy. And in this situation, I'm glad that she has overcome it and put her head up. 
But you know, you're not wrong for not wanting to hear from him. Who the fuck cares what he's got to say? Well, tell him, like she said, explain that shit to your family. Or do they already know? Tell your baby mama about that. Here's my question. So, do he have other kids, I wonder? Because she never said anything about that. They don't have any children together because she definitely didn't specify that. But I wonder, does he have kids prior to their relationship and during their relationship that she just don't know about. You know, people can be real sneaky and hide shit. And he hit this shit real well. Could you just imagine being in love with someone in total bliss and awe and you are with him. He accompanied her to every single wedding like appointment, like she said, and he had no problem. He was all on board. And you're, you, you know, you feel like you just found the man of your dreams. You're in love. You're like, yes, girl, I'm about to spend my life with this dude. Yes, he is here on board. Like that make you feel like really, really special. And then to be kicked down, like I really like kicked down. That's how I feel. That, that shit is like a devastation. I don't, you know what? I don't really think that I would have anything else to say to him in life. Sometimes the best payback and the best revenge is to not fuck with them and not give them any type of attention at all. Girl, listen, you just blocks them. That's what I do. I blocks them, okay? I blocks them. Once you scorn me, once you deceitfully deceive me knowingly, okay? I don't have no words for you, okay? <laughs> listen, I block you and I go on with my life. I could care less if I seen you at another event, a family event that you really needed to be there with. Please hope that I don't see you. And if I do, I'm gonna act like I don't know you. If I seen you in the street, I would pass you by and act like I don't even know you. That's the best, sometimes that's the best payback. You know what I'm saying? You can't give all your attention to someone who's knowingly deceitfully deceived you. Like you just can't because that's what they're seeking, attention. And sometimes not giving them none is the best. So no, no, Allison, you don't have to pay him any attention. You don't have to listen to his explanation. You don't even have to talk to his family anymore, okay? The embarrassment was done and honey, don't feel embarrassed. Go and move on, okay? Move the F on and find you somebody else. But before you find anybody else, heal inside and do what you need to do. So you guys, I'm gonna go. And I think for Allison's situation and for her mental health, I just think like it's best not to even bother with him. If you have over something and you're fine with the situation, you left it alone, I think then it should be left alone. He's caused enough pain and hurt, you know what I'm saying, to her life. So whatever else he's got to say to her, I don't think that it's going to be really helpful. What is he going to say? I love you. You've said that enough with the flowers, the emails, and the gifts. Like, you can't win anybody over with flowers and gifts. Like, that shit don't work, all right? Please stop sending your, your things to my place of employment. That right there, I would definitely put a stop to that because it's harassment. Yeah, we do need explanations for certain things, you know what I'm saying, in life. Like, why did you do this to me? Why did you hurt me like this? There are some things that we really, really would like to know. Things we really want to answer to, but is the answer really going to be truthful because they've already been deceitful to you? So you have to ponder that thought. Like, is it really worth hearing an explanation? Because we already know that he's a liar and he's deceitful. So why even bother listening to his explanation? Why give him that benefit of the doubt? He's already done enough. So do I owe you that? Not at all. So you guys, leave your comments below for Allison. I'm glad that you peeled from this, Allison. And just, you know what? You don't have to rush out there and find a new relationship because sometimes it's like a rebound thing. Just leave it alone. And you know what I'm saying? God will provide the right man for you. He will send one your way. Sometimes when you're looking for love, you're looking for love in all the wrong places, okay? And that don't work out always. Trust me on that one, okay? But I love you guys. Make sure you check the links down below for Happiness Boutique. I gotta go. You know what? I'm definitely gonna stop wearing my baseball cap. I have this baseball cap. Well, I'm not gonna stop wearing it because my son, Wuzzle, he gave it to me and I wear it all the time when I don't do my hair. It's Star Wars, yes. And um, I love Star Wars. I've loved it since a kid. Not the new ones, but the old ones. You know, Star Wars came out in 1977, girl. So, kid, my mother took me to the movie theater to see him. Yes, 1977. I was born before then. I was born in 1974. But I love this hat so much. I wear it all the time, especially in the mornings when I'm dropping the kids off. You know, I'm like the Uber driver, the Uber bus driver and stuff. So I really like the hat. I'll just throw it on. But sometimes I keep it on throughout the day, forgetting. You guys see the tan line up there? All of this is tan line. Okay. Now, y'all already know my head is already long. 
okay? I have a long head. And this is definitely not helping. I did not notice that I had a tan line until just now. Put some makeup up there or something to cover it up. That helped a little bit, but not much. But I got to go. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Put on your notifications so every time I upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. And on that note, I love you, and I'll see you in the next Real Talk or the next video.